hello 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 welcome to this reading this is a love reading for the sign of pisces so if you're a pisces sun moon rising and venus there could be a message here for you again this is a love reading so we're going to start off with your current energies pisces and during my pre-shuffle the the nine of pentacles came out and the strength card came out so there's definitely something that you're working through some inner issues that some you're you know you're ha having to muster up your strength to get through something um and the nine of pentacles talks about independence you know being maybe being single being abundant being happy in your singleness and maybe some of you are currently working through that so we have the hermit and the three of pentacles all right a lot of soul searching a lot of looking you and your partner soul searching a lot of looking at your relationship looking at what you've built looking at what you have looking at your growth together and here is the strength card popping out <laughs> I, won't, <clears throat> I won't be surprised if the nine of pentacles comes out at some point all right so yeah you guys are definitely working through some issues in your relationship that is requiring your inner strength pisces that um is requiring you to look at your relationship look at your partner maybe through a different lens do some soul searching and let's see what you have coming towards you the empress beautiful okay so that's creativity some of you might be oh might be getting pregnant this is a love reading oh and here's the death card okay so coming towards you it's definitely a transformation of some sort definitely a transformation and the two of swords which is going to have you um deciding trying to decide all right trying to decide on a direction to go in hmm <laughs> some of you are dealing with pregnancy for sure the emperor the empress definitely especially in a relationship reading talks about someone being pregnant within the relationship or it's a baby coming um but also there is an energy of transformation and of decision making so some of you might not some of you might not be sure that you want to that you're ready for a child um and some of you are are ready you know so this is a collective reading everything is not going to resonate with every pisces but again definitely a, a transformation energy here because we have the hermit we have the death card and we have the strength so there is some inner work that is going to be required of you you're going to have to decide in what direction you want to take this some of you who are not dealing with pregnancy are really coming into your own coming into your own abundant energy okay and this is going to be reflective in your relationship in your personal relationship in your romantic relationship there is a, a transformation happening between you and your partner and i feel like um you and your partner are or so are coming to like a head you are wanting to go in one direction and your partner is probably wanting to go in another you know everybody has their individual journeys it's just um you know it's it becomes a challenge when you're trying to be on your individual journey but then journey with someone else who's on their own journey and sometimes there comes a point where people have to break off you know what i mean 
And I feel like Pisces, this is that time for you. This may be that time for you where you're coming into your Empress energy, okay? And you're really transforming and there has to be a decision made. And your inner strength, use your inner strength, use that fiery, use that solar plexus energy to really get you through this because, and just understand that everyone's journey is individual. And we kind of um, beat ourselves over the head and saying, no, 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 everyone has to come with me. Every, you know, my partner has to come with me, my children, my friends. And that's not always the case. You know, sometimes you get to that fork in the road and you two are standing there and it's like, okay, well, I have to go this way. And your partner is like, well, I have to go this way, you know, so. I feel like that's the energy in which you are sitting in right now, Pisces. So I want to see what are some possible outcomes for you. The King of Pentacles, okay. Possible outcomes as the King of Pentacles. Long lasting, long lasting, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, destiny. So we have a long lasting relationship and something that is predestined. All right, so we might be dealing with a soulmate connection or some sort of twin flame connection here. All right, so I feel like. Two of Wands, that fork in the road that I was talking about, and it's right below the Two of Swords too. Decision making, fork in the road. On top of all of that is the strength. So basically, there is a decision that you're going to need to make. And I feel like the cards are already telling you what decision you're going to make because it's pre this is a predestined event what this process that you're going to is you're going through is your destiny and um whatever decision you make is going to be in your favor all right it's going to be long lasting it's something that is really going to be solid and solidified for you it's going to take you very very far okay then we have the sun at the bottom of the deck Okay, which tells me that whatever, again, whatever decision that you end up making, what direction you go through, go to, you are going to be happy with it. It's going to bring you joy. You're going to be illuminated. You are going to feel free. It's going to heal you and especially heal your inner child. So, um, yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But it's going to be tough because that you know that that decision making that decision as to what do you do you know which in what direction do you go you know pisces so let's clarify this entire spread daydreams and decisions again with the decisions okay i feel like you guys especially pisces because you guys are big dreamers, big daydreamers. So I feel like you need to really knuckle down and make your decisions and get your head out of the clouds. All right, stop scattering your energies. And um, I feel like spirit is giving you a message like this is the time for you to make this change. Um, if you don't make this change now, spirit is just going to give you a tower moment <laughs> and take and, you know, throw all the cards off the table and make you start all over again so this is the time pisces make the decisions and get your head out of the clouds choose your battles choose your battles always choose your battles don't go off you know battling every person every energy choose your battles protect your energy this is a, oh double sevens here so that's very significant 
if number sevens are significant for you. There it is. Um, yeah. Choose your battles. Protect your energy. Stand up for yourself. Don't allow people or things to, you know, penetrate your protective bubble, per se. Challenging times, all right? So... This is going to be a challenging time for you as like I'm saying that you need to make that decision, get your head out of the cloud and really knuckle up or because spirit is saying I'm really getting the energy of this is the time for you to make this change. This fork in the road is not is not a little deal. It's a big deal. And, um, you know, we operate under free will so you don't have to you don't have to make a decision if you don't want to pisces when it comes to your relationship but um like i said um when you continue down the path of not making the decision then spirit is just going to one day come in and give you a tower moment and you know have you start all over again take tear everything down and build build it back up all right, so let's get a final message for Pisces. Final message for Pisces. Ooh, wedding. This situation involves marriage. All right, Pisces. So, you know, I could understand why you are having a tough time making a decision. And um, I, this confirms the long lasting event here the destiny, the fork in the road, you know, choosing your battles and things like that, and you really coming into your own, um, this could mean for some of you that you this relationship, um, all of the struggles and stuff that you're going to be going through and decision making during this relationship is going to bring you, you know, joy, the joy of marriage, and that's the path that some of you are going to be led down okay so that's the message pisces i hope that it supported you in it in the way that you needed it to and if you want to know everything about me about my personal services my patreon my podcast my book everything is in the description box for you so feel free and please do like this video and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys next time. Take care.